what's up guys welcome back to my channel i just got to the amazon fresh warehouse i got a couple minutes before i run in and get my packages um so this is what i accepted normally when i accept uh amazon fresh it will show these amounts but the ending i'll put on the screen also um normally the tips come out to be like way more and make it way more profitable so yeah i'm gonna show you all the packages i get how many stops i get how many miles i drive how i organize them in my car or in my, i have my husband's truck today i dropped him off at work and i was like uh sometimes i get orders that are bigger than my car i should say i mean you can do it in a car but some orders i get are like piled on top of each other in my car so i rather have his truck plus we're like the same on gas mileage i'm not really worried about that and at the end of the video i'll show the totals that i ended up making after all the tips so i have a few minutes before i go in um give this video a thumbs up make sure you're subscribed for more gig content and let's go do these deliveries all right so now that we got all the goods i'm gonna start scanning them and sorting them by the little name that's on them it's very important to sort them just like amazon flex you want to have the easy drop offs so i'm going to show you all of that here is the little square that i am scanning and after i get everything sorted i find out the numbers of each stop and that's where i put the little number that's just what i do um so as i scan and find the little the name on them i separate all the stops and then i'll show you where i put them inside of the vehicle to make it easier for me to grab and go so here's all of the little rows i made i put some up there because like i said i had seven stops so here they all are all right so we're loaded up i have this is number two drop off because technically the warehouse is one so two three four is this down five is these two six i don't know if y'all can see six is these two and then seven is those three so everything fit in the cab i didn't have to put anything in the back of the truck which is good because some of these have cold stuff in them so let's go I turned my gridwise on to track my miles. We are actually heading to St. Pete, but I didn't get to film the first drop off. I thought I pushed record on my GoPro, but I didn't. So I go back to the truck to get another bag and I realized I gave him all the bags. This is the next order. So one of the packages had multiple stickers on them and I only scanned one. Okay, um, one of those packages has like three stickers on it. Can I see it again? I gotta scan all the stickers. Okay, thank you. Have a good day. All right, guys, we are done. Um, it pretty much went smooth. Besides, I, I thought I pushed record on my GoPro for the first one, but I don't think I filmed the first drop off at all. It, I mean, it was smooth from the truck to the door. But um, 
yeah these baskets do come in handy especially when you have like three or four or like one big one you know it just, it's just easier to hold I just use it because it's easier for me uh, they're literally just laundry baskets so you, you know you can buy them at Walmart so I tracked my miles with Gridwise, and I also scheduled the hours with solo just in case I made less than the minimum guaranteed that they're projecting for me to make um, I would still be covered and they would send me some money so I'm gonna put on the screen what I'm looking at right now um, I tracked 37.9 miles and you know the mileage deduction is $23 that's what Gridwise tells you so I mean if you you want an app to track your miles Gridwise it's what I always tell people um, so I tracked from 10 o'clock to 11:30. so that shows I worked an hour and a half that's not including the 15 minutes about 15 minutes of me scanning and sorting I got pretty fast about that All right, I'm in the drive throughout the bank so that's why I keep looking this way but out of every app I do DoorDash Uber Eats Grubhub Amazon Flex and Amazon Fresh Amazon Fresh is by far my favorite because you get one bulk amount you drop them all off and you get like I always get more than what I'm paid I did a, I did actually have one where I was paid the 55 and I was just like okay I guess one out of like 20 all right I'm all right I had a question on one of my previous Amazon flex videos but this can pertain to Amazon flex or fresh um, today is my first block ever so I so I just need my phone that's all and I said phone charger and you'll need your ID to scan when you get there because if you don't have your ID like they they can't do nothing with you they would send you home with no pay um, your ID proves that it's you and that you're there so you have to have your ID every single time I said snacks and water um, especially if you get like the four or five hour flexes because you know you're gonna get hungry and thirsty take bathroom breaks if you need them um, I suggest doing three hour blocks until you get the hang of it and then do four to five hour blocks I mean that's that's up to you and organizing the packages up front is key to making it easy to grab and go at drop-offs don't stress if you feel like you're running behind you'll get quicker so my first my first video I actually filmed my first f flex um, it, it was a disaster we didn't know how to organize anything but now I got like an organization like down pat I can do it in literally 10 maybe 15 minutes if there's like 40 uh, packages but um, organization is key that's why I went into detail about where I put the packages how I marked them you know just in case so you don't have to like read the word I just want to answer that but if you have any other questions please leave them down below I love chatting with you guys in the comments and if I can't answer your question somebody else will down in the comments so I think that's gonna be it for today um, thank you so much for watching give this video a thumbs up make sure you subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video